Mm. And next, the page 68 is the first is talking about the individual advantages of the faculties. Not to have all our sense faculties intact would be a hindrance to the practice of Dharma. And that is also like great advantages. If you are free of the such uh, disabilities uh, and uh, completely like a kind of these things are not problems. Uh, therefore, we can to say is we have the advantages of the uh, possessing the sense faculties. Then it's like uh, we can uh, happily to study Dharma, listen to the Dharma, practice the Dharma. And then it's the conflict lifestyles. If you had a conflict lifestyles, uh, then you would always the uh, immersed in a negative action and at the variance with the dharma. And uh, we are like kind of the against dharma. Maybe it is like uh, the conflict lifestyle, mm, like a different lifestyle of the dharmas. And uh, like we already studied, some is like barbarian style, or the like a homie or hurting to the other sentient beings. That is kind of the virtue or the path. And this kind of negative actions all the time doing, then it's like the variance with the Dharma against the Dharma. And not like this, since we now have the wish to do uh, positive actions, this is the advantages of the intention. And uh, like a, a great tension, it is absolutely opposite the the conflict lifestyle, and uh, we are like very much interest to practice Dharma. And also, I'm saying here is the to practice Dharma, practice Dharma, practice Dharma. When we have something different things, and uh, Dharma is something deity, or the Dharma is something else in the app the externally. But Dharma is not like this. And uh, when we practice compassion, kind of generating compassion, thinking the benefit for sentient beings, this is the Dharma. And uh, we are taming our mind from the negative emotions and to put into the positive emotions or positive. And that is also the Dharma. And also we are taming our characteristics or behaviors and to checking out which is the positive characteristic, negative characteristics. Once we have this knowledge, and then we are like kind of avoid the negative characteristics to adopt the positive characters. That is the Dharma. But Dharma is nothing else more than that. Therefore, we are saying, it's like, okay, now I have great advantages because my intention is concerning my positive, my like kind of the negatives. When I have good intention to the my positive, my negative, and why I'm thinking about my positive, my negative, because my negative, it is the cause of the suffering to myself and to other sentient beings. Why I'm doing the negative, follow up the negative movement of negatives. And also I'm thinking my positive. And because of positive, my positive is cause of the happiness for myself to the other sentient beings. And 
like this. This is a really good intention, goodness. Sometimes when we talk about Dharma, Buddha said, like Dharma is something else. One person told to me, it's like in the Buddhist perspective, you think karma, they think the karma is something else, like same as the God or the Buddha. And you know, it's like they say, it's karma can control to you. It's uh, you are not freedoms because it's like uh, uh, only the by the karma. Say. That is like, and then you more too close, more you ask, what do you mean? You know? Then it's like they say, it's karma is controlling to you. You are not freedom. Say. And the karma is both and to watching to ours. Not like this, you know. They big misunderstand. And like, for example, if in, we were living here, if we done some, uh, some in the country laws, maybe we done something like break the rules in the countries, and then these actions to bring to us maybe need to prisoner and something in the judgment and make the, the negative result. And then this is also the karma result because the actions result. And the meaning of the karma, it is the, our activity, the movement of the Buddhist speech mindset. Generally speaking, in the five aggregations, it is the formation, it's like more, is the we call the karma. Set. Formation means it's the movement of body, movement of the verb, movement of the mind. Set. For example, when we uh, enter the wandering into the samsara, at the beginning, and the first is like coming to the, in our mind, in the true nature of realities. There's we call the, the emergency ignorant, inherent ignorant, something kind of blank mind. A little, very tiny darkness is coming. And according to that, then it's like we have like a dualistic movement is occurring. Chinese occurring, we call the formation. And this then is the movement occurring, then there is activities, then this result. Second is that we call the labeling ignorant and the big ignorant, and these three are coming together. Then, you know, habitual forming, imprinting, karmic, and tendencies, and then it's occurring. Therefore, the movement it is like a we can to say is karma. And therefore, and uh, this time is we need to think about the, like the intention to think about the, like karma. Say. Karma means it's like action. Actions, there is no action, no kind of result. Say. We can to say this seed is, if we don't put, if there's no seed of the, these flowers, we can say pineapple seed. If there is no existence of the seed of the pineapple, never there is the existence of the, of the pineapple. And if there is a pineapple, but we never put it in the ground, never give some any fertilizer, there's never maturations. And, but you put the seed into the ground and give the conditions, then it's naturally there is occurring like this. Because there is the cause of the the pineapples seed, and then this conditions coming. But there is once, for example, the pineapples seed is existence. The, this seed, the cause. If you are now is ripen or not ripen, if you could the the ground or not, there is the this seed is already existence the cause of the seed. Then it's any times in the future. If you put the seed in the dry land, maybe one million years, and probably if not rooted. And then after the one million years, if you put again in the, the earth and to give the fertilizer, it has a function like ability to grow up. And like this also is a, you put right now, right grow up. Later it's like this. I also it's like the movement of the Buddhist speech mind. It's like kind of the making the seed in the future to ripen, like to maturations. 
the consequences there. And then this, this movement is to create the, some uh, different karmas. Some of this maturation is immediately to ripen. Someone is like maybe slowly. Someone is many years and later that is like kind of maturated or to ripen on to us. But once you acted, the seed, the maturations never ever lost. Or maybe it's like we go to into the, our mind, ourself. You know, mind go to in the mind to purify it, to delete it, or like kind of you did something. Then maybe it's, there's not really uh, maturations not there. Therefore, for example, when we now practice Dharma, purify it. And also it's like a kind of the eliminating our like kind of negative tendencies means if they're in the tendencies, there is a something negative seed coding the negative action of the movements. And now we are like, mind is clean up that, then maybe in the future, no maturation. And that is what we are doing right now. We like to stop doing the negative movement. We do stop is like negative forming in painting. And also we are like kind of purified through the practice dharma to clean up our in the mind in the like uh, uh, some in the past our negative habitual tendencies and uh, like this and uh, we n need to think about when we say the dharma means it is like a kind of purification of the our negative tendencies and also it's like a dharma means we correct ourselves and we are like kind of doing ourselves to be genuine, authentic, and to create more happy. That is the Dharma. Dharma is nothing existence. Dharma is like kind of abstract name. It's this morning I choose to say it's just a pith instruction. And this is like the Dharma is nothing existence. But is that the teaching of the, the Buddha, this is what we call the Dharma. This we need to think about them. Sometimes practice Dharma, Dharma, Dharma. What do you mean? It's something is there, it's some person or something ill. This we need to take care. If we, you had no faith in the Buddha, Buddha's teachings, you would not feel any influence, uh, inclination for the Dharma. And like nothing interest. And uh, inclination for the Dharma means it's like nothing kind of want to uh, go for towards to the Dharma because we haven't got any trust, faith. And that also sometimes we need to check, okay, when we study the Dharma, the, what we study the Dharma, Dharma is not a person. Dharma is not kind of something else. Dharma is need telling to us something. And uh, this is the, your meaning of the body. This is the, your meaning of the verb. This is the meaning of the mind. And uh, also it's like uh, if your body speech mind, you do like this, your body speech mind is getting better. If you this kind of to do, your body speech mind is become worse. And uh, some on the coding of the movement of the body speech mind, is, then you receive the karmic phenomena of the samsaras. And according to the movement of body, speech, mind, some in the positive movements, then you have karmic phenomena of the nirvanas. And this kind of like when we study in the book, listen, and then we apply it is the truth, it's really truth or not. And for example, we can to say killing things. If you kill, it is negative. Do not kill, sir. in the written to say, but just only written. Of course, in the Buddha, he said, please do not hurt him to, do not harm, don't kill to the others. Then during that time, there are many intelligent, and they asked, why, which kind of problems if I'm killed to others? If someone says, like, if I'm killed, hunters, butchers, it is like they said, why not? And why not I 
can't to kill. I'm, I'm a kill, I'm interest, enthusiastic. Something is like kind of entertainment. And then, of course, how much Buddha he replies to say, like uh, even the, his cousin brother, Devadatta, and they have kind of competitions, like uh, the championship of the arrow. And uh, they are like kind of the, the um, Veda uh, competitions, and they, they learn to how to sh shoot. And then they finally, it's like in the, during the competitions, they send in pigeon in the space, and then they, how they can to kill. And then it's like the Siddhartha, he says, the Devadatta, I don't want to kill. We don't want to do like this. Why we do this kind of awful game? And why we need to kill the pigeons? And the pigeons also have the life. They have like kind of sense of the happy and sorrows. And then as everybody's looking around and why is that I say like this, stupid? He should to be challenged with Devadatta. Why is Devadatta is a challenge? Because who is a winner? That is the become the king of the Shacha. That kind of the persons can get their beautiful lady called the Yashudara. And this is come. And then it's like a father of the Buddha said, what he's saying like such these things? Choose to play, to shoot these pigeons. He said, no, I don't want. If I'm loose, I don't want. Then he's talking about, you know, this pigeon is, has wonderful, this is, and why we need to kill them. And then he said, they were that his brother, the cousin brothers, you do what you want, but first I can to competition, I will do it. He sent two pigeons in the space, one arrow to kill the both pigeons. And then as he was so sad, and he looked at these two pigeons and it's to cry. And he says, Buddha said, why we need to do this pigeon? Why we need pigeons? And he took in the front of this, his cousin brat, took out the one jewel. Like, okay, we can disappear, like some round, this one. We can put in the space, then we can to shoot. Why we need to kill the pigeons? And to say, then it's like this a small, like round jewel, and to put in the space, and he shoot it in the six suit seed. Like this kind of immediately to concerning the sentient beings. He say, if you killed, how much the, like the dying beings, how much is sufferings? And also, is this dying, this animal or the beings has a big anger and negative wish. For example, like same as we are in the, during the Second World Wars, when they like kind of some power force coming to killing, they just to see different excuse and to say, now we're going to kill. Sir. And then I didn't do nothing, sir. Oh, you are something, sir. and they're going to kill. And how much this person, human beings, suffering, pray, say, okay, one day you also receive this kind of situation. Why you kill me? I have my father, I have my mother, I have my children. Why you kill me? Sir? Other killers say, doesn't matter, whatever you cry, I want to kill you. Make a joke in Europe, sometimes, a long time, there's idioms. If you say like this, they never accept it. And it means it's like they do not understand the other situation. They kill into the others, they don't care and like this. Then it's, they receive revenge, then they are very much kind of the sufferings. Like this. <clears throat> This teaching is, comes from the Buddha to say, do not to kill, it's making the sufferings. This is a truth. It is not religious. This is the realities. And like in the YouTube, there is, this day is a wonderful thing. See. There's one family, they want to kill the one pig. But they have this true pig, pork or pig, and maybe it's like, a, I don't know, the, but this pig, all the time they put together, they feel it in the families. One pig is they catched and put in the, the chopping board to, to put there. Ah, said, other ones are direct to, to coming and they hit the, this, the butcher and to pulling to down and like he 
this other ones take away. It's like the other one run and the other ones looking, someone's coming behind. And then this family, the killer family, just to shocked. It's like animals can't do like this. And like this is also, it's like animals, they have such and such uh, the same as we are. If someone's really to taking care to others, try to stop the hurting, try to the stop the like kind of harming or doing bad things to others, it is a wonderful, most precious human, and like this. And also, in the Dharma teaching says, do not stolen to the others' belongings. And also, this is what does it mean if you say it's like really to check and. First time we can to experience, and if you lose your own things, maybe someone came into your back to open to take all the wallet and how much you are angry. And then it's this kind of situation, when we lost something, someone took how much we are angry, how much we are sad. It's we distolling to the other's things, also the owner of these things, such sufferings. And therefore, someone's really to learn the Dharma, how to stop the to stealing, and understand the defects of the stolen, and to stop the stolen, understand the qualities. And this person is extraordinary humans. And like this, for example, I often to say, if someone studied Dharma to understand defects of the doing the physical things, defects, killing, Stolen sexual misconduct, and these three things. If this person study Dharma to have the knowledge, the qualities of the to stop killing, to stop the like stolen, to doing the like stop the sexual misconduct, and then this person is the most precious human existence. And in the humanities, in the society, this person I can would immediately take refuge this person. I can immediately to prostrate into this persons, and most truly worthy and uh, person is this person, absolutely. And I have these feelings. If someone is like really honest, someone's absolute truth, and someone's like this, it's like perceived like as really something is wow, wonderful. Say. It is like I'm just to make, uh, okay, it is uh, this Polish guy. We have one, there's a helper or the worker and the fat guy. It's sometimes, many times I'm checked to him. He's very much honest. He's sometimes a little aggressive, but he's do, and also sometimes he's doing things fantastic, but very much honest. As much as he can do, if something doing, you look afterward, it's really honest. It's like same as the his own like belonging things. And also behind or the behind or the front, there's no different. It's honest. Then it's like I was really like kind of falling in love. I'm not gay, but I'm almost falling in love. <laughs> and this is I'm telling the truth. It's like wow, wonderful. Through the Dharma educations, this Dharma education, we need should to become like. Maybe he hasn't got any education. He's fantastic, like kind of natural this. Of course, there are many human beings has natural this kind of wonderful, wonderful. And like this, if we do study the Dharma, we should to become kind. We should to become gentle. We should to become cheerful. You know, happy mind. Sometimes we are like to say. And we never to study the Dharma. Of course, we are very much sensitive. We want to cry. We want to anger. We want to. Sh it's like sometimes they follow up the emotional. We cannot to say the bad, bad because they not my education. When you study the Dharma, and then this quality is coming. Then we should to have intention, advantage of intention. We should to have enthusiastic. I'm so happy because it's like I can to develop myself, you know. 
something akin to make the genuine person, authentic person. If we want, if you really to study Dharma, then there's, uh, the, how do you say, the ability, is, or it's like kind of the possibility. I understand this and that. Of course, if we don't follow the Dharma, and also many Dharma practitioners doing awful things, that is the truth. But good intention, advantages of the intention means when we study the Dharma, then it's something, wow, I want to this is a study. For example, like this, this therefore, then it's automatically wonderful things. Then slowly, slowly, it's not necessary. There's one, my friend, one is in Campbell. He's like, everywhere is the books. He's the Dani place, there, there. And each moment he's pick up a book and reading. And all put there, all the times, wherever he go, he put the round books, picking up, reading. And like, what are you doing? He said, oh, it's once you just to read to specific time, specific place, but impossible. But each moment I can pick up one book, I read the one line, one verse, again, again. ah, wonderful this. And then it's maybe this book there, and to all the times nearby you, even the like eating times, chatting times, talking times, nearby there is, that means it's like, like step by step. And ourselves is like to study this kind of book, maybe reveal again and again, reading again and again. And also I want to say something. If once, like they did, me, I haven't gotten, there's those in Campbell's and Lopens, like first time they studied one book, fantastic way, precisely memorized. Then you move other books, very easy. You know, like the base of the Dharma information, it's like very much similarity. The way of the, the explanation, a little bit different. Based like this, I'm often to suggest to the student, you know, when they're reading this Gonzalo Amshalno, I say it's like, every day you read one page. This one page is at least, you know, it's like minimum 20 times to read. And then each part, the page, 20 times read. It takes time, but when you are finished this book, then you have something quality inside. You remember how many chapter, each chapter is to have subject, what is, and then is the remember. Then afterward, you to listen to the other teachings. You get the, some different information. Ah, yes, this teacher is talking about that. Ah, this book is information like this. Kind of like image, rough image is coming into the, our mind, the Dharma. Like this, then it's a, each moment to try to, to study like this. If you have not faith, not faith the Buddha's teachings, you would not feel any inclination for the absolutely, there's a nothing. But now we have like this, and having the ability to the turn your mind to the Dharma as you are doing now, sir, and uh, constitute to the advantages of the faith. It is like into the into the, the faith, because these five advantages need to be uh, complete with the regard to one's own, uh, like make up, uh, own make up, uh, and they are the called the five individual advantages, and uh, also it's like uh, to practice the real authentic dharma. It is absolutely necessary to be other human beings. And uh, it says absolutely. This is maybe also more is like kind of to details. And here is that this having the ability to turn your mind, it is the very important towards the, to the Dharma, this subject matter, this education. It is like a wonderful education. And then it's the, as you are doing right now, see. and uh, then it's like the five advantages of the, our own individual. 
and particularly he said that constitute the advantages of the faith. Mm, and then these are the five advantages for the according to our own selves. If there is, is, is like problems, it is difficult to enter into the, uh, the, like, uh, the Dharma entrance because this, there is a lack of the conditions. It is a very, very difficult. We can to say it's like uh, we have beautiful car, excellent car, but there's no petrol, how we can to drive. And uh, also maybe we have nice car, and there is a petrol, but maybe no key, how we can to drive. But like this, even when we need to drive, okay, good car or bad, anyway, we need petrol, we need key, and like this. And there's some necessary things in the relatively when we're doing something. And that's we need to analyze again and again that is our own responsibilities. And like this is to check. Therefore, if really want to practice authentic Dharma, absolutely we need to attain a human existence. Without a human existence, it's difficult to serious to practice the Dharma. And uh, also Dharma means it's difficult to recognize positive or the real, the negative things. That is the meaning. Okay, maybe we can to stop there.